There is more fallout after stunning allegations that administrators at Richneck Elementary School in Virginia ignored multiple red flags the day a student opened fire in class. A six year old is accused of shooting his first grade teacher. ABC's Faith Abube is in Washington with the very latest. Three times school administration was warned by concerned teachers and employees that the boy had a gun on him at the school. According to the attorney, Zwerner was the first person to warn the school about a six-year-old boy on January 6th, telling administrators he threatened to beat up another child. They didn't call security. They didn't remove the student from the classroom. About an hour later, another teacher searched a boy's backpack following a tip that the same boy had a gun. The teacher found nothing, but warned administrators that the weapon could be in the boy's pocket. The administrator downplayed the report from the teacher and the possibility of a gun saying, and I quote, well, he has little pockets. The attorney says two more staff members raised concerns about the boy having a gun, an administrator allegedly telling one of them to, quote, wait the situation out because the school day was almost over. Almost an hour later, police say the first grader shot Zorner in the chest with his mother's gun. The recovering teacher still has the bullet lodged in her chest. The road to full recovery will be long. The Newport News School District declining to comment, but overnight, the school board voting to remove the superintendent. And the accused shooter's family released a statement through their lawyer saying that they continue to pray for Zwerner's full recovery. They've said that the gun was secured with a lock and that the six-year-old suffers from an acute disability. Normally, a family member is in class with him, but they weren't there the day of the shooting. However, one parent of a child in that classroom tells ABC News that she's not aware of parent chaperones being allowed in class. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.